This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. You used to describe that the last play was basically just put the ball in T Mark's hands and let him go. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we spaced the floor out. Um, you know, TB did, a, you know, luckily we were able to get organized because we were out of timeouts. Um, and, and we were able to uh, set up a little bit of a press break, um, even though they kind of matched up, you know, straight man. There was, there was no, you know, press as there had been, so to speak. Um, and I thought that, you know, we, I mean, we got the ball in the hands of, of who we needed to tonight because uh, T Mark was, was playing with such great confidence. Um, and then we just spaced out. We had Davenport uh, in one corner. Uh, we had L Ellis in the other corner. We had, um, you know, TB trailing as the inbounder. And, uh, and then we had uh, Minifield on the 45 degree angle on the left side and just said, there's no way we're taking a three. Like we've got to go to the cup or at least get inside of that, you know, 12, 14 foot range, really. I know on the play by play it goes as a layup, but it was a pretty clutch shot. Just what you think of the way T Mark handled that? Well, that's his, I mean, he's, you know, I know that all the analytics people talk about, you know, mid range being a bad shot. It's been a really good shot for us at Arkansas, Jimmy Witt, uh, Ricky council, um, T Mark. Like that's a, it's a great shot for him. Not a good shot. I mean, he's a lethal pull up jump shooter, uh, 12 to 17 foot. And, um, look, he had, uh, 35 points on 15 field goals attempted. And, um, our guys did a great job of of finding him, even this two threes. I know they were off spot up assists. And um, you know, we did a pretty good job uh on the glass, not great, um, uh, but decent enough to win the game. And 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 you know, I mean, look, we led for 38 minutes. That's a drastic improvement from where we've been in our first three games to to lead for basically the entire game. Give Texas A&M a, a, a ton of credit. They came back, had a great second half. They've had a lot of come from behind uh, wins. It was an incredible shot by a great, great player in Wade Taylor. And uh, they're super well coached. And uh, they're, they've, they've been a hard matchup for us since I've uh, been here. Do you, you, you feel like like they just didn't want to foul team Mark on that last play? And that's why I, got I mean, I don't, you know, I, I don't ever, you know, um, you know, comment. I, I wasn't in, you know, part of, part of their, um, I know that we wanted to, to try to get the ball, uh, to the rim. Um, again, I did, uh, did not want to see a three point shot, um, for us at that juncture. I mean, we had been to the foul line 40 times and wanted to try to put as much pressure on the defense as we could. Coach, did you know, coming in that this might be a game that suited T Mark or did, when did you know that he was going to have a, a night like he had? Yeah, I mean, uh, we yeah, we felt like there were some some areas on the floor that we could try to get him the ball. Um, I mean, obviously, it's pretty evident that from the start we were we were trying to get him in certain matchups. Um, so yeah, and then I, I thought I thought we did you know they have two star players in my opinion. It's, it's, you know, Radford, we couldn't have done a better job. Um, you know, and Taylor. I mean, what an incredible, incredible performance all the way across the board for him. But he did take 32 shots, you know, which is, which is, which is, uh, you know, I mean, he, he can get his own shot at will because he's such a special player. Um, and L hasn't played a whole lot lately, but you put him in the starting lineup tonight and he played pretty well. Just what, did, what made you put him in the lineup and what did you make of his performance tonight? Just kind of, uh, you know, we've kind of been a moving target, you know what I mean? Like on who starts and, and um, I felt like he's a veteran and we are playing a veteran team. I mean, it seems like a couple of those guys been there since, since I first got here, you know what I mean? I don't know if they have or not, but, but a lot of fifth year guys, a lot of guys that have played there for three, four years. Um, a lot of guys that have played in this building and um, felt from an experience standpoint, um, that was the, why we started the group. I, I thought Chandler had a lot of experience. Um, 
been very level headed the way that he follows the game plan. And, and um, we knew that they were going to soft trap uh, the pick and roll. And we felt it was important that we had a guy that was a willing passer and a non turnover player in the short roll spot. And, uh, and, and, you know, we had five assists and four of them from Chandler and one of them from Kai in his three minutes. So obviously going into the game, our five men being ball distributors and kick out players and, hitting the dump off, man, was something that we worked on a tremendous amount of time in short prep. All right. Just what have you seen from, from L and how he's kind of handled maybe the reduced minutes to be able to come in tonight and, and play such a big role for you? And when did you maybe kind of uh, tell him that he would be back in the starting lineup tonight? Well, whenever we practiced the other day, um, you know, to be honest with you, he, uh, he jumped out there with the first unit. Um, I was putting in a, a play, didn't call out five guys, and he jumped out there. I was already going to start him, but then when he did that, it kind of showed the whole staff, like, you know, he wanted to be he wanted to be in that first group. Um, I didn't call out a first five on purpose. I wanted to see who the first five that were eager to get out there um as we were adding something and um look we you know we need him to play well and uh, i you know i mean he went three for 11 um but the key was his rebounding that's a career high he played a lot of minutes last year i mean you look at those minutes every night and for him to rebound the ball like he did um you know phenomenal and our bench has to rebound i mean flat out like i mean you know, this plus minus thing is important to me and to our staff. And um, we, we got to get, we got to get, we got to get better in, in, in the plus minus area from an individual standpoint. Some of our guys that that's got to happen for us. Tremont took, I think 22 of the 40 free throw attempts, but L got to line eight times TB eight times. I mean, how impressed were you with just the relentlessness getting of attacking the basket, getting to the free throw? Line I mean, they're you? super aggressive defensively. I mean, they are, relentless defensive attackers of the ball and you've got to be strong with the ball and you can't settle. Um, and you know, that was, you know, two things that we tried to, to do, you know, and I, we did a good job and, um, you know, you, you can't, you can't settle against Texas A&M. Coach, you talked about the eagerness of the starters that you put out there, but you know, 12 minutes in you, you're up 20 points. I'm curious. Just what's going through your mind when you're when you're up twenty on those guys? Where has this been? Mm. No, I mean, look, we we have. I mean, we led the whole game. You know, again, give them credit; they led for six seconds. But but for us, forget you know Texas A and We needed to lead from start to finish in a game. Um, when you when you lose like we have of late, um, you know your confidence can get you know, shaking. And, and I mean, all over the locker room, there's probably 40 signs in there that say, you know, bring your swagger back. I mean, when we played Duke, we had swagger. We thought we were going to win the game. I know it's an exhibition game. I know nobody wants to hear it. I'm going to say it, even though nobody wants to hear it. We had swagger when we, when we played Purdue. Um, and we need that back. And the only way to truly, truly get it back is to play well. And I, I thought we played great in the first half. I really did. I thought we came out of the out of the jump ball with a team that looked like we you know, we had to win the game which <laughs> we had to win this game to kind of expand on that just what do you feel like changed from last game to now to make them come out that way and then how do you sustain that well one we had a good crowd you know i think when you play at home um you know florida had a great crowd um you know and and uh different lineup you know i thought that you know joseph and laden played really well last game and i think that you know kind of kind of put everybody on alert so to speak that you know you got to play super super hard you got to follow the game plan and i think those two guys playing well kind of help some of the other guys maybe understand i better play or or, or i'm not going to get my minutes back um when you have guys come off the bench that do that the prior game, 
I think it carried over tonight. I really did with, with guys understanding the urgency of them performing at a high level from an effort standpoint. Eric, I know it took a lot longer than you would like to get that first SEC win, but you can't get two or three or four until you get one. Just how big was it to win, and do you feel like this can be something you can build on? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, um, confidence-wise, Bob, I think we needed it for sure. It's one game. It's over. You know, up there, South Carolina's depth chart right now. Um, I can't wait to get home and um, and start start digging into – South Carolina, they've had an incredible season so far. Um, you know, I think even myself, like you win a game, like you, you know, kind of puts an extra, extra juice in you, you know, and, and um, it's on to South Carolina. We'll see what happens on Saturday. I guess we asked T Mark, Scotty, or somebody asked him if he had ever hit a game winner. He said he had a half court shot or something to beat Memphis when he was a freshman. Um, were you aware of that other game winner he had hit or yeah no me, me. it wouldn't matter i still would have put a ball in his hands tonight if he never had one his whole life <laughs> yeah. eric i know tyrese radford's a guy that you've spoken highly of in the past you guys held him to two for 15 what what all went into that yeah i mean we tried to um you know send help in extra areas uh, you know it really worked against radford and it, it really didn't work against um, Taylor, you know, um, they're both great players. Like you guys have all heard me talk. Look, Buzz Williams, a great coach, not a good one, a great coach. Um, they're super well coached. They're super hard to prepare for. And, uh, both those guys are in, like, I love watching those guys play when we're not playing. Those are two of my favorite players to watch. And I've said it a lot. Like Radford can, I mean, he can do so many things. He can play the one, two, three, four, um, you know, we just, you know, I thought we did a good job of, of, uh, bigs being in the right help position and trying to, trying to get him to certain spots on the floor. Yeah. Eric, I don't think battle played. Was that a coach's decision? Was he healthy? And yeah, it was coach's decision. I mean, it was, you know, tonight was, um, you know, shrinking the, the, the rotation and, and, uh, you know, who knows who not, whose night it'll be Saturday or I guess day. Who knows whose day it'll be Saturday? I have no idea. None of you guys know. And uh, that locker room probably didn't know. Somebody's got to get hot for us tonight. It was T-Mark. Devo's defense was where we wanted it. L did a great job on the defensive backboards. Chandler did a great job moving the ball. TB was uh, was in proper spots from a defensive standpoint. Um, everybody's got to be ready. Obviously, the way we sub right now, it's you never know. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.